What's up, everyone? Philly Insider Podcast. I'm Hunter Dole here from Inside the Eagles. And today, Fletcher Cox, there's a lot of rumors going around about him getting traded. I'm not going to do a long video. This is just really quick. Look, here's the thing with Fletcher Cox. Pre-June 1st, I believe we would lose about $26 million in cap space, which is more than we have right now. So we would be in cap space debt, actually. If we trade him post-June 1st, we'll gain about $2 million. So it's going to have to be post-June 1st we make the move, whether it's over the summer that happens, whether it's at the trade deadline during the year. I don't see it happening anytime soon. But I will say, look, you could definitely get some capital for him at some point. Probably, I don't know if you're going to get a first round pick at this point, but you probably get like a second rounder, a third rounder, uh, maybe a little extra on day three as well. Maybe you add a player in there instead of a day three. Who knows? I think you get a decent package for him, but you know, then that means you're going to have to look to address that position in the draft at some point or in free agency, because I think Hargrave and Milton Williams is just not going to be enough. You have Ridgeway who is a good kind of fourth guy, but I don't know if he's necessarily that, that third guy you can put in there. Tui Pelotu, that's that's a project pick. You still don't know what you're going to have in him. Uh, I, I personally didn't think he should have made the roster last year, but again, he's out to prove me wrong, and I'm hoping he does. And, you know, he's got potential, but that's not a guy you're going to put into that third spot this upcoming year. And you're also, I think Milton Williams is going to make the jump, but you're you're definitely projecting him to and hoping he will. So there are definitely some things you have to consider there. And, you know, Fletch still takes up space, and he's still a menace in the run game too. So I think there's some things to consider, but – you know, his trade value is not going to be, it's not going to be what it is right now forever. And even right now, it's not what it was years ago. But years ago, you know, we didn't, we weren't looking to trade him because he was a key part of a successful football team. Whereas now we're, you know, coming off of a playoff run, but we're still looking to kind of rebuild, retool a little bit, I would say. So there's definitely, definitely a lot of aspects to consider here. But I think, you know, you got to be, you got to be mindful of all those aspects and, and see what's out there. But, you know, don't, don't force it if it's not there for sure. So, yeah, I, I think there's guys in the draft this year. Obviously, Jordan Davis is going to be a big one that comes up. Then there's also Travis Jones in the second round. There's plenty of guys. Perry on Winfrey. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. There's some du dudes in the draft who we could add this year and have them kind of develop for a year, which would be beneficial, or until Cox gets traded in the summer or at the deadline if that happens. And, yeah, there's free agents out there too. So so we'll see what happens, guys. Um, I'm interested to see how this, this pans out. And also how Gannon's scheme kind of pans out if Fletcher Cox leaves and and how they kind of play the certain guys on the roster, and kind of how Hargrave steps up as the number one guy there, too. You know, it's a different scheme. It, you know, we went from Jim Schwartz, which was a one gap. Now it's kind of gap and a half, I believe, Coach Ali Lombard has talked to me about. You know, he was great, great Twitter follow. But, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different. We're very, we're very, I would say we're definitely a hybrid between a 3-4 and a 4-3. We, we do a little bit of both. So, yeah, but keep an eye out for it, guys. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know if you got any questions, anything you want to clarify. I, I tend to kind of look at both sides. I don't tend to lean one way, but, you know, that's just that's just how I am. But, again, point being with this video, guys, it's going to have to be post-June 1st. If it is pre-June 1st, there better be some restructure or something worked in there that Howie finds a way around some type of rule. So, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Appreciate y'all, and uh, have a good Friday. I'm looking forward to baseball being back and, and doing some more videos for you guys and, you know, Spring break's ending, but I'm looking forward to hopefully ha still having time for content, and then the summer will be here. So, um, yeah, run, boo, run, y'all. Fly goes fly. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.